So today, we're going to learn how to make a Fibonacci spiral. In mathematics, the Fibonacci numbers form a sequence called the Fibonacci sequence. And each number is the sum of the previous two numbers. So it starts with 0, and 0 plus 1 equals 1, and 1 plus 1 equals 2, and 1 plus 2 equals 3, and then it starts changing. 2 plus 3 equals 5, and 3 plus 5 equals 8, and 5 plus 8 equals 13, so the numbers keep getting bigger and bigger. Italian mathematician Leonardo Fibonacci introduced the sequence to Western European mathematics in about 1200, but the, um, in India they knew about it before then. So the Fibonacci sequence can appears in nature, and things like shells and... Um, the position of seeds in the sunflower and leaves and petals. And we also find it in, in um, human beings and animals. So there it is in the ear. It's also used in arch art and architecture to create a sense of beauty. And it's related to the golden mean and pie. So we're going to make this. This is our Fibonacci spiral. And we will be using some colored paper. So if you want to make it with these colors, you'll need um, these colors of paper in these sizes. I'm going to write this and put it below the video. So uh, red, three-quarter inch red and orange, one and a half inch yellow, two and a quarter green, three and three quarters blue, and six inch purple. So you'll need some colored paper. You can use colored cardstock like this, uh, scraps of stuff or construction paper. And I'll show you how you'll do a square. I always use the corner. So the yellow one wants to be one and a half inches and I have this nice two inch ruler. So we'll measure one and a half inches to here and one and a half inches to here. And I line it up on the corner that way I only have to cut two lines, and you'll just need a pair of scissors, and you'll cut your square out. And so that's how you'll cut all of your um, squares for this. Now I have a set already cut here, ready to go. And you can do any colors you want. I just like rainbow colors, so that's what I use. So in order to figure out where to glue these, we need to take our white sheet of paper. I'm just using a regular piece of copy paper here. And we need to measure in three and a half inches square from the bottom right-hand corner. So I'm measuring one, two, three and a half inches here. And one, two, three and a half inches here. And then we'll just extend those lines so we know where the corner is. And then we'll start with the red one. And we'll start by putting a little bit of glue on the back of that. And we're going to line it up right in that corner. So here we go with the glue. And this will get glued right into that corner that we just drew. And next, we'll take a look at our... This is where we're going with this. So the red and then the orange next to it. So we'll glue the orange and put that orange one right down here. And then we'll glue the yellow. And you'll see how each one of these lines up with the side of the last two. So the yellow lines up with the red and the orange. And the green one lines up with the red and the yellow. And you'll see the blue is going to line up with the last three. So each one lines up with the previous squares. 
that's the sequence of the Fibonacci numbers. So if we assigned the number one, well, we'll get this one on. So this is the last one. This is the last purple color. And it's gonna line up on the edge there, here. So if we assign this number one, it would be one, one, two, three, five, and eight. So next, what we wanna do is draw our arcs. And that's how you draw, the get the spiral. So we're gonna practice arcs first on some other square paper. And the way you do an arc on a square is from one corner to the other, and you're gonna round it out as much as you can and come back in. So that's a quarter of a circle. And we'll try it again on this one. Notice how you want your hand to be near a corner so that you are really pivoting on your, on your hand. Of course, if you're left-handed, you will draw it from the other side. And I recommend tr trying a couple of small ones and large ones so you kind of get the hang of how to do the arc. And then we'll take our paper and we're gonna start from this corner to this corner, a curve. And notice how I'm moving the paper. So we'll do an arc in this direction. Then we have this arc on the yellow. And arc on the green. Arc on the blue. Now, arc on the purple one is pretty big. You might have to move your hand. So, especially if your hand's a little bit small. So, you can stop and then continue. And that's your Fibonacci spiral. And if you have other colors, you can do it in another color way. Or any other colors you like. I just like rainbow colors, so I use those. So that's a Fibonacci spiral, and I hope you had fun making your own. And thank you so much for watching.